Recently a friend of mine has been sending me a lot of these satisfying videos. And they're all physics simulations. And I want to make some too, cause Sam Samuel, these look lit. But how can we make some? On computers you can simulate a lot of things, including the laws of physics. Basically, you give a computer a bunch of rules on how physics should work, and the computer's like, Okay fam! and then perfectly replicates the real world. And to do this, you need a bunch of maths. But all my homies hated Pythagoras because he said Roblox is better than Minecraft. So we're skipping the maths and using a physics engine that someone already suffered to make for us. We're gonna use Blender. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, I have one of those in my kitchen! And the answer is no, you dum-dum. I have trauma from those. So we're not going anywhere near them. Instead, we're gonna use this other type of blender. It's a computer program, which is often used for 3D sculpting and animation. And guess what? It's got a physics engine, which simulates physics for us. Which means this is gonna be super easy. Okay, so there's one thing I like more than the laws of physics. Jelly. What if we take the laws of physics and get this, combine it with jelly? To do this, however, we're gonna need to make jelly. So welcome to the new segment, Cooking with Paul. Hi there, step one of making jelly is you open up your blender and you create a cylinder. Now make it look like jelly by stretching it around and breaking several of its bones. You know the jelly is good when you can hear the bones crunch. Make it all smooth. Uh, that kinda looks like a dumpling. Make it less smooth. Now slap on some red and you have jelly. This has been Cooking with Paul. Fun fact, the jelly's name is Eduardo. Now that we have jelly, all we have to do is turn on physics and hit play, and it'll act just like jelly in the real world. Okay, so I kinda lied. Turns out we need to use soft bodies. Now I know what you're thinking, what the flip are soft bodies? Well you see, in the real world, normal objects go bonk, but soft bodies go splat. Now all we have to do is turn on soft bodies and hit play, and it'll act just like jelly in the real world. Okay, so I kinda lied again. You remember how earlier I said the jelly has bones? Well the bones aren't strong enough. So I sent the jelly to the bone gym, and damn, look how much stronger those bones are. The graphics still look really bad though, so it's time to add pat tracing, which is basically simulating light. If you've heard of ray tracing in games, pat tracing is ray tracing's older, even harder to run brother. And just by turning it on, our laptop will... Bruh, this feels like... Oh no. But my laptop being crippled is worth it, because we went from this... to this. And while we're improving graphics, I stole a texture from the internet, used whatever this thing is, and bamo kablamo, we have floor. Now my laptop's already struggling, but God once said, let there be sky. So now we have sky. And this looks sick, so I made computer wallpapers out of it. Now I've lost money on every video, so uh, Patreon, wow. But the wallpapers are completely free, so go download them now because free is a great price. So the simulation is pretty much ready, and we can hit render and wait. And after like 4 hours of waiting for my computer to beep boop all of this, here it is. Wowee, two seconds of footage. That was totally worth it. Anyways, it's time for- What the flip are you doing? OMG, it's beep. What's up, homie? Why am I not in this video? I mean, you don't have to be in every video. Okay, I'm being threatened with gun violence, so I have to put beep in this video. And the best way to do that is to put beep into Blender. So I slapped open Blender and added an egg. Cause you know what they say, this video is excellent. I'm gonna stop that right there. Anyways, I slapped beep into Blender and began transferring his soul into his new egg based body. And Sam, beep is looking pretty cool. But he can look better, so it's time to add pat tracing again. And Bamo Kablamo beep in HD 4K RTX on graphics. Now we're running out of time, so I quickly made a scene with a bunch of cubes, and then waited 10 hours for it to render. 
and it didn't even work that well, so I made one with two cube-shaped jellies instead. And well, that's not working how it's supposed to, but, but it's pretty cool. And you know what, maybe it doesn't always have to work. Maybe what really mattered was the friends we made along the way. And as always, remember to eat your seatbelt.